Hello wrestling fans, the wrestling wizard here and welcome to another video. Now it's safe to say a lot of WWE fans and I mean a lot of WWE fans aren't happy with Cody Rhodes. They feel that Cody Rhodes' championship reign has been boring, it's been stale, it's been lacklustre, it's been highly predictable and many fans have gone as far as to say that Cody Rhodes is a failure. Now that's a strong word, I certainly don't believe Cody Rhodes has been a failure, but I can understand a lot of fans' frustration with this title reign, which at times has felt so predictable and dragged with no storyline build. But I honestly don't think this is down to Cody Rhodes. In full transparency, I think a lot of this comes down to WWE creative, specifically Triple H, not booking enough credible heels on the SmackDown side. How many credible top, top tier heels can you name on the SmackDown brand right now that you can take as a credible act to dethrone Cody Rhodes? There aren't that many. And to be honest with you, as a performer, Cody Rhodes is delivered. He's still getting fantastic responses from live audiences. He's killing it on the merchandise side of things and has been for some time. And you can't question his desire, his passion for WWE, wrestling in general, literally staying behind after shows to sign every single autograph he can for the fans because he knows that if it weren't for the fans, there would be no American nightmare. And the feuds haven't been that bad in terms of delivery. AJ Styles versus Cody Rhodes in that feud wasn't that bad. I love the little retirement tease angle from AJ Styles, a veteran trying to prove he can hang with the best in WWE still, got in the shape of his life for it. The I Quit match at Clash at the Castle between the two of them wasn't that bad. Logan Paul in that match was just a filler for the Saudi show and it delivered as an in-ring match. Solo Sokoa versus Cody Rhodes, it's safe to say a lot of people aren't going to remember that in the future, but they were looking at the bigger picture when it came to the return of of Roman Reigns. Take nothing away from Cody Rhodes, nothing was going to be bigger than the return of Roman Reigns at SummerSlam. Because of that, in his feud with Solo Sokoa, nobody's going to remember that match in the future. And that's not down to Cody, he didn't have a credible top top tier heel to sink his teeth into that you could actually take as a credible opposition with an actual chance in beating him. And when you look at the track record and relationship between WWE fans and babyface top tier WWE champions, it ain't that great. The likes of Seth Rollins, who's a megastar, suffered in the past when it came to a runner's babyface champion. And you could argue with the exception of Drew McIntyre, Drew McIntyre's babyface run as champion was phenomenal. And let's not forget the fact that we're following Roman Reigns' historic championship reign. Involvement from heel final boss The Rock in the lead up to WrestleMania 40, the start of your championship reign is always going to be tough when you're trying to follow that in a quiet post-WrestleMania season of WWE. It was always going to be a mountain to climb, but we're just getting started and I feel that WWE fans just need to look at the bigger picture, the teases as to what's to come. Now, in terms of short term, do I think that Kevin Owens should turn heel to face Cody Rhodes. Of course, those two facing one another at Bash at Berlin. No, I'd like to just see a compelling matchup between the two of them. I don't want to see Kevin Owens turn heel again. He doesn't need to. We get that done and dusted and we move on to the bigger picture, which is very, very clearly coming soon. And that, of course, is the feud between Randy Orton and Cody Rhodes, which is going to feed families. It is going to be absolutely incredible. So much backstory. Let's not forget that Randy Orton was Cody Rhodes' mentor in Legacy, the leader of Legacy, the leader of that faction. And now Cody Rhodes is at the top of the mountain. They teased a feud with Randy Orton looking at Cody Rhodes' title, saying that he's always going to have his back so long as he's champion. But we know full well, to quote the late Bray Wyatt, a snake in a cage is still a snake. You can't trust the Viper. The Viper will turn on Cody Rhodes. He will turn to that villainous side, that vicious version of Randy Orton, and it will be epic. And you can bet your bottom dollar that a lot of the fickle fans, a lot of the Cody haters at the moment, will completely change their opinion. They will be fully invested in the feud and hopefully as a result be more invested in the Cody Rhodes championship reign. Now, one thing I am sceptical about is Randy Orton is a legacy act. 
love him or hate him, you can't deny the man. And I think even as a heel, I'd worry that he'd get cheered over Cody Rhodes. But I'm hoping they'll do a good enough job, just like they did with Final Boss Rock, in making you detest, as a fan, Randy Orton as a performer and some of the sick things he's potentially going to do to Cody Rhodes. If he starts hearing those voices in his head again at close to 300 pounds, I would not want to be Cody Rhodes taking on Randy Orton. And that feud is going to be absolutely incredible. And then you've got the build potentially to Cody Rhodes versus The Rock, which again we know is a personal feud with Rock's references to Mama Rhodes and all of that. You know full well that's going to hit home and be an absolute blockbuster of a feud. And when you've got feuds between Randy Orton and Cody Rhodes, The Rock and Cody Rhodes, you're fully invested as a fan because you believe there is a chance that that title could change hands. And even if it doesn't, and even if they book Cody Rhodes just as they are right now in terms of presentation, you can't blame WWE. They are going to want to milk financially as much as they can out of Cody Rhodes for as long as they can until the time is right to shake things up with his character. And yes, I believe in time, we will see a character change with Cody Rhodes. Triple H is not fickle. There's only so far you can go with Cody Rhodes as this version of the character we're seeing. And you could even have Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns 3, but with the roles reversed. Cody Rhodes being the heel and Roman Reigns being the face, adding some more layers to the Cody Rhodes character, who, by the way, I believe could absolutely kill it in a heel role. But let's stop criticising Cody Rhodes. Let's give him a chance. There's so much to look forward to in the future when it comes to Cody Rhodes and this championship reign. We just need to be patient. We just need to wait for it. Let it unfold and then it will be magic but at the moment i appreciate your frustration i understand your frustration i get it it just feels a little bit may but it's gonna get better i promise it will let's just get through this next month or so and then move on to bigger and better things when we least expect it a viper's gonna strike what do you think as always get down in the comments section Share your thoughts and opinions. And of course, do you think Cody Rhodes has been a failure or are you a massive fan of Cody Rhodes? I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts and opinions. And as always, we will catch you in the next one.